So, keep telling us more. So, um, go over some of the other programs that we have here um, mm -hmm. at Smart Start. Um, one of the ones that is a, a really great program, I call it my sexy program because a lot of people are really attracted to it and it's really kind of um, the attraction piece that gets people mm -hmm. motivated to come in uh, even if they don't know about the rest of the things that we do. And that's our microloan program. That's where we can mm -hmm. actually lend up to $50,000 to startup companies and existing businesses within Pasco County. Mm -hmm. So, it's really great opportunity for those companies that uh, or business owners that have a great idea, mm -hmm. they have the passion, they have the expertise and all the things mm -hmm. that they need to be successful, but there's something the within their background or something within mm -hmm. their business model that they doesn't make them it. bankable. So Aww. they can't go to a bank mm -hmm. and access capital that way. Mm -hmm. So we look to be that that alternative That's source awesome. that can help get these businesses mm -hmm. ramped up. And one of the huge things about the microloan program, very different from traditional financial institutions, mm -hmm. um, we, do, we do a process before we actually uh, you know, release the funds and give mm -hmm. an applicant uh, funds. Uh, but then post when they get the loan, mm -hmm. we have scheduled mentoring and counseling that takes place that's, throughout that's really the life great. of the loan, mm -hmm. multiple times, multiple meetings per year to make sure that the business owner stays on track exactly. and is really focused on what the goals are of their business and that they can A, obviously be successful, mm -hmm. but then also B, because it's important for us to get repaid because exactly. it's a revolving loan fund and we want to be able to put those mm -hmm. dollars out for other people. Um, so we really want to focus and hone in on their success. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that is to stay engaged with them as much as possible throughout their process. Not just at the beginning, but mm -hmm. in the middle and then towards A the constant end. Support. Yep. Constant support. Yep. And our goal really mm -hmm. is to get those folks to the point where they can borrow the money from us, get their company started, mm -hmm. or get that get to that next stage of the company, and then we help them become bankable so that they can go like to a traditional that. financial institution and leverage funding that way. Mm -hmm. So great program, and uh, again, it's something that is an attraction for people. And to be candid with you, I want to say that we're probably one of the only um, – areas, not just within the state, but within the region that still has this type of uh, financial tool for business owners. And again, it's just for Pasco County businesses and residents. Sorry so move that. to Pasco. But, uh, but move to Pasco. Mm -hmm. More motivation Basically. to move to Pasco. <laughs> so um, just a few other programs that I want to uh, discuss and just highlight uh, within our Smart Start um, mm -hmm. overall programming. Um, another one is our Entrepreneur Roundtables. Mm -hmm. This is a great opportunity for entrepreneurs, whether you're in the startup phase, pre-revenue phase, and or you're actually existing in business and conducting uh, activities within the county. Mm -hmm. um, it is really a great opportunity for business owners to come together and really talk about their challenges, talk about the successes okay. that you're having, but really focus on some of the challenges you're having and leverage the people that are in the room, mm -hmm. business owners that have all different levels and types of experience to help you get over uh, that challenge. Mm -hmm. We have mentors that sit in on the round tables okay. as well. Okay. We have uh, representatives from uh, SCORE, the Service Corps of Retired Executives, who sit in on that as well. So we have a lot of resources mm -hmm. that are at that table plus an, again another seven to ten business owners that are all there to help each other out so we're trying to create a business ecosystem of folks who can help each other out and work with each other give each other referrals and help build each other up so great opportunity as well to really keep moving with um things um with your business model. Mm -hmm. So one of the other things that we do here as part of our Smart Start programming mm -hmm. is we actually have a business incubator. We have two incubator locations, Very one cool. on the west side of the, of the county and then one on the east side of the county, uh, mm -hmm. Dade City and uh, Newport Ritchie. Mm -hmm. And in these, incubation, in these incubators, we are actually uh, renting out discounted office mm -hmm. space for folks who need full offices. We have... Um, one right here. We have a dedicated desk space for folks who don't need a full office, but mm -hmm. they still want to be able to utilize all of the uh, tools within the center, um, our print station, conference room, uh, classroom, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. So we have that. Um, when and there's then we like also too have... much distraction going on at home. Exactly. It's... Okay. Exactly. Okay. You that's don't the, want to go to a Starbucks. That's the that's the whole key. Starbucks okay. is too busy, uh, you know. And there's and really the, the the other point of it, I will say, is it's really about building that ecosystem again. Okay. So we really we want to have our members here who mm -hmm. have their offices. They can close their door and or open and. Mm -hmm. participate in what's going on outside. Mm -hmm. We have the dedicated desks, which are cubicle style, so people are nice. kind of still out in the open and mm -hmm. able to talk and converse and work with each other. And then we have off-site memberships where people can come in and just use some of our open table space, use the Wi-Fi really and get nice. all the other benefits mm -hmm. of the center, um, but they don't have to have necessarily a dedicated office space, mm -hmm. so uh, they can come and go as That's they cool. want. Kind of a, another version of Starbucks, but again, yeah. all about business and mm -hmm. being, again, engaged with other business owners who can help and assist you with things that are going mm -hmm. on. And again, as part of the uh, business incubation program, 
program. We have mentoring, counseling, and coaching. Mm -hmm. um, we I actually like meet that. with our, mentor, our our incubator members twice a month, and we that's go over nice. all the things that's going on with their business mm -hmm. and really make sure, again, that they're staying on track and that they're realizing the success that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. So one of our newest members is um, Pool Shark. They actually are a business that uh, does pool services. They do cleaning and mm -hmm. all kinds of other pool services, and they have a really new innovative product that they're bringing to market on a national yes. scale um, in the near future. So I'm going to introduce you guys to Jason and let you talk to him a little bit. Let's go. I've heard a little bit about this, guys, and it's it's nice. It's nice. And dun, dun, dun. Hey, Jason. Hey. <laughs> hey, Jason. Hey, how are you? Okay, but introduce yourself to the viewers. Uh, my name is Jason Kement. I'm the president of Pool Shark Commercial Service here in Pasco County. That's so nice to meet you. And we have Pool Shark right there. Okay, great. Jason. Yes. Tell me a little bit about Pool Shark. But, well, I know you, okay, you have new pool innovation coming out. Yes. So would that be considered do you are, is, does that fall underneath pool shark too or do you have like a separate name or a separate company you get what i'm trying to ask yeah okay we we have a new brand that we're bringing out mm -hmm. called brand. h202 pool H202 um pool. it, it essentially that. for the past hundred years mm -hmm. we've used chlorine in our pools very irritating <laughs> yes. yes um we have found a solution that mm -hmm. uses hydrogen peroxide that's different yeah. that is very different Tell me more, I'm very open to everything. So I was lifeguard certified when I was 15 and I've always, I've taught private swim lessons, group swim lessons, so much. So I've either been in chlorine or right. salt growing. So hearing that, it's kind of. So you know how annoying chlorine can exactly. be, how it makes your skin exactly. itch, burns your eyes. I, I've been wearing glasses and contacts since I was a kid. So that even trying to, that, yes. Yep. Even the salt, too, it's still better on the skin, but it's still very dry. And well, everything. it's still chlorine. A lot of people don't realize oh. that saltwater pools, while it I may no be... Clue. Yeah. The saltwater system actually takes the salt to break down the molecules and generate chlorine for the pool. Wow. So you're still swimming in chlorine with, wow. if it's a salt pool. That's wild. And I'm here, I'm just thinking, like, we're at the beach. We're just, you know, floating yep. away. We, okay, okay, so hydrogen, peroxide, and yes. oxygen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell, tell me more. I, I have to know. Tell me more. <laughs> like, <laughs> tell, yes. Tell, but I know uh, I learned, I heard recently earlier, this same system has been utilized, but in the Olympics. Right, right. That's huge. Right. That's Most huge. of your, your Olympic uh, mm -hmm. swimming competitions happen mm -hmm. in hydrogen peroxide pools. Um, so where are we? Where are we at, guys? Well, uh, Jason's the gonna U.S. Take care of this. Exactly. <laughs> the U.S. is a little behind mm -hmm. in in technology mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, water sanitation for pools. Okay. There are other parts of the world that mm -hmm. are using hydrogen peroxide to treat their pools. Late to the party. Right. <laughs> right. Well, we've been using it for a hundred years. Mm -hmm. So once you have a, a supply chain, mm -hmm. you have demand for it. It mm -hmm. it gets easy to fall into okay. that rut. Okay. Okay. So. Hmm. What we've done is we've come up with a patent pending process mm -hmm. that with H202 pool, we can remove the chlorine out of the, the residential pool. Great. <laughs> we, we pump up the oxygen level in mm -hmm. the pool and that's what sanitizes the, the water chemistry and, okay. and keeps everything safe. Destroys I, bacteria, I like pathogens. That. I really, okay, so you're not gonna have, it, it's not gonna irritate the skin. I know no. hydrogen peroxide, you think of that and you think like cleaning wounds, that's what I think of. Right, right. But it's not, it's, is it, it's still just as concentrated, I would assume, or no? It, it's it's not like swimming in uh, like actual like just pouring a whole bot no. like a whole bottle of no. okay okay no. that's really that's really cool what okay so you're an incubator member right you, smart start try to say that six times fast but <laughs> <laughs> at, you are an incubator member at yes. smart start for under Pasco EDC right. and you've gone through the entire process from start to finish. Right. So talk a little bit, tell us a little bit about what it was like for you. How long have you been a member? Is it Since the beginning of the year, we've gone through okay. the co-starters program. We've mm -hmm. gone through the microloan program. We're um, residency here mm -hmm. at the West Pasco center. Okay. So we, we, utilize every, exactly. We've gone through a lot of the different mm -hmm. programs that Pasco has to offer. Mm -hmm. Amazing people, amazing mm -hmm. programs excellent help to get us to where we need to be that's that's incredible so kudos to smart start yeah and pasco edc for having a program like this jason is about to we we're gonna see these very soon very oh, yeah. very soon i feel like if i was not if i was in a home and i wasn't in a condo right now 
I would be getting one myself. Yeah. Are you Are you looking? When are you going to be on the market? Is that a, is that, Do you ask that question to start up? Do you, is that like a like a knock on wood type thing? Well, we we are here locally mm -hmm. in Tampa Bay. Okay. Our our packages, mm -hmm. um, equipment packages, mm -hmm. and our service is available in Tampa Bay already. Oh, that's so. Yeah. If anyone local, and we know we have followers everywhere and viewers, and we love you all, but to our local uh, subscribers, if you where can they find your information? PoolSharkService.com. I will put that right here, guys. As always, <laughs> but that's that's really that's really cool. Okay, so you. We service the Tampa Bay market right now, mm -hmm. but our, our main goal and the main reason why we went through all the programs mm -hmm. that Pasco EDC has to offer is mm -hmm. because we're launching the entire H2O2 pool mm -hmm. brand and service to the uh, nation in spring. Spring? This, this spring? coming spring. All right, guys. So obviously Jason will be, should be a household name very soon. <laughs> should be. I, I'm counting on all of our viewers. That's really incredible. That's national. Yeah, because... And you're starting here in right, Pasco. That's right, really we're cool. starting here in Pasco. But the beautiful thing is, once we go national, mm -hmm. somebody in Arizona or Washington mm -hmm. can buy one of our packages. Mm -hmm. And then once they've set it up on their pool, we can send them the chemicals every single month. So that way they never have to have leave to. their house. They never it's have to go to a curbside pool service. Store. Exactly. That exactly my favorite. That's yep. conveniency. Th this is where, you know, technology and everything has found its positives rather than I don't know, I'm still kinda iffy on like the groceries, like delivering right. groceries. I'm like, you have to leave your house at some point, but this right. I will do this month to month. Yeah. That's really stinking cool. But it was nice to meet you. Nice to talk to you. It was great to talk yeah. to you. Boom.